What's going on, y'all? Conscious One back at you. I uh, hope everybody's doing good out there. Uh, so I just decided to, uh, decided to do this little video. I'm going to title this one, uh, Motels versus Apartments. Now, of course, this is for single people, whether you're single female or single man. Uh, you know, this is something that can be pertinent to your situation. Uh, this is definitely pertinent to my situation. That's why I decided to make this video, because in reality, I mean, sometimes... You know, we, we figure out that we under mind control, even when we think that we're conscious and we're free and, I'm, and our thoughts are free. Sometimes we can still be under mind control. Take, for example, for a long time, I thought that, you know, signing a lease with an apartment was the way to go. But now, based on what I have basically went through this last two weeks on my journey back to Chicago, I'm like, yo, it doesn't benefit me to be in an apartment no more. First, let's put this in perspective. I'm not going to be long about this. A motel versus an apartment. Okay, so the thing about me, I hate carpet. Carpet is like one of the most disgusting inventions of all time. Okay, it's disgusting. It's filthy. Okay, so the motel I'm staying at right now has wood floors. Uh, the cleaning ladies come every day, knock on my door. I tip them 2 or $3. They give me fresh, brand new tiles. So basically, where I'm staying now, I have room service. Uh... No, I don't have a kitchen. No, I don't have a refrigerator, but I don't really need that stuff. I have an electric stove and I have a frying pan. If I want to fix some eggs, I can fix some eggs in a, in a, in a, uh, in a motel. Uh, if I want to brew some coffee, I have a coffee maker. You know, that's all I really eat is what I'm cooking at home is eggs and coffee anyway. And it's quite interesting, too. I just had some chocolate milk, you know, how it's almost like my DNA changed because I'm able to digest milk now, uh, while long ago, I wasn't able to digest dairy. Now I can digest dairy. Just goes to show you how sometimes you can upgrade your DNA or you can have some kind of vitamin deficiency. Uh, I think taking uh, iodine has really helped me substantially. But getting off the subject, so the motel I'm staying in has wood floors. I get room service. Of course, I have cable TV, flat screen. Of course, I don't watch TV. I'm just listing the amenities. So I have all the cable, all the football games come on. I never miss them. Uh, the Wi-Fi is not that good, though, but I don't I don't need Wi-Fi. I already have uh, accepted the fact that I have to pay $120 a month to be on my phone and always have Wi-Fi on my phone. So I, that's not really an issue. Uh, it's very clean. It's very quiet. And here's a big one. The parking lot is secure. It's under surveillance, right? The parking lot. And so when I look at all that, the fact that I'm paying $2,000 a month to stay in a motel... Well, you're supposed to pay one third of how much you make in a month. So if you're making six thousand in a month, then your you can your rent supposed to be around two thousand, based on what they say you should be able to afford. Now, as I look at apartments, to me, an apartment is almost like it's like it's like being taken hostage. You sign one lease in an you sign a one year lease in an apartment, you're stuck there. You can't go nowhere. It's like you, you're being held hostage. Most of the time, you ain't going to be able to find parking on the street. Somebody might be messing with your car. Uh, somebody may uh, know that you live there. You, you could be a uh, target. If you're a targeted individual, you can't leave. So now you, tar now you didn't sign this lease. You're a targeted individual. And now you got to stay there all the time. And they can just run all the skits they want. No, 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 no. Uh -uh. If you are a targeted individual, you should be ready to be on the go at any time. What prophet in the Bible just stayed in one place? No, you got to be on the go because when you get around these goddamn devils, these demons, and you're a targeted individual and you stuck on a, you being held hostage, you think somebody don't know about that and then they, then they can start their skits on you? You're not even in most apartments, what, between $1,500 and $2,000 and you're not even getting anything. And then somebody move in, like well, what happened with me? I buy furniture, people move in, and all of a sudden, Every single apartment I had, somebody moved in that started making a lot of noise. Guess what? I'm stuck there for another whatever, how many months I got on the contract. So I, I get to this apartment. I got to buy furniture. I'm stuck with nosy, uh, nosy and noisy, nosy and noisy neighbors. I can't find parking. When I come home from a hard day's work, my parking is not secure. I don't have cleaning ladies. I don't have housekeeping. But I'm supposed to pay this type of money for an apartment and be held hostage for a year. When, remember, you got to furnish the place yourself. You got to pay for TV, cable, Wi-Fi, and all that stuff. You, you're, not, you're not getting nothing out of having an apartment. And some people say, well, what if you bought a house? I, listen, folks, we are all renting on this planet. 
And black folks, especially, y'all know we don't keep nothing in the family. Somebody gets a house, somebody passes away, that house is gone. It doesn't go to, to the family. Because for some reason, black people don't seem to understand how to build wealth for some strange reason. But even above that, when you just look at the situation, for I mean, we're talking about single people here. It, to me, it's better staying in the multi. You get more VIP services than if you stayed in a house or an apartment. OK, being that this motel has all the goods and services that you're looking for. So I just wanted to say that, folks, just something that I've finally come to the realization. Of. I mean, I'm living in a neighborhood I want to live in. There's no there's no uh, drug dealers and all this crazy stuff. There's no crazy people. You got to you got to be making bank to pay two thousand dollars a month to stay in a motel and get how you get. You got to be on your grind daily. And since I am, I don't have time to be dealing with the riffraff that comes with uh signing leases with apartments so i just want to make that clear because uh, it's just amazing how your reality can change and you find out stuff that you never thought about is actually the best situation you could possibly be in it's a, and where i'm staying now i mean it's just peaceful y'all no traffic not even traffic on a friday for god's sakes total peace and i just got i just want to say that let me pick up this order talk to y'all later peace